Hi there, I'm Ashley. Welcome to my watercolor YouTube channel. Um, I am a completely self-taught artist and the goal of this channel is to teach you the tips and tricks that I have learned the hard way to make your art journey a little bit easier and more fun. So please, if you like these videos, please like them, comment, subscribe. I'd love to hear what ideas you have, so feel free to comment or email me and maybe I'll use your idea for a video. But yeah, thank you for stopping by. Hi everyone! So in addition to watercolor, I also do quite a bit of calligraphy um, and I wanted to do a short little video today about a piece that I am working on right now. This is a commission for a friend and it's this little pineapple. You see it's so cute, right? It's good in summary. She wants it for her office and I'm just putting a little quote on top of it. So I'm using these pens. They're called um, brush pens. So there's on one side there's oh, a very thin tip, a uh, very just kind of thin line, and then on the other side there's this sort of brush color. Um, and so this side is great for calligraphy, this side is great for details or drawing, whatever you need for that. Um, I get these from Hobby Lobby. They come in a pack of however many you want. There's packs of like 5, 10, 15, 20, different amounts. Um, but basically they're really good for calligraphy because you want to have um, thicker lines, right, going down strokes and then just really light on the top, heavy down. Light across and just pressure when you go down. So. This took me a lot of practice to get to the point of just being able to do this freehand like this. Um, something I did a lot was print out some practice sheets. There's different practice sheets if you just Google like calligraphy practice sheets. Um, it'll give you the alphabet and the different shapes of the letters and you can just go over them over and over and over and over. Um, you can use a Sharpie, you can use a different type of pen. You could do it with a paintbrush. I've done it with a paintbrush. That's really hard. I probably wouldn't start with that. But the idea of calligraphy is that I didn't learn like any specific font per se, this is more kind of my handwriting and my own style, but the idea is just that it's thick on the downstrokes and light on the upstrokes. So what I mean by that is that if your pen is literally going up, assuming that you, <laughs> you draw your letters uh, in a typical way going up, it's light and then when you go down you really press down and then you lighten up again sometimes and lift your pen, that's fine. Going up and then down, okay, and then light again, okay. Um, <clears throat> and sometimes I'll give you an example of um, if you do like all down, if you just go like that, it, it looks okay, but it looks a little bit, yeah, I don't know, it's too thick. It's a, just a different style. But if you do all really light, First of all, the pens don't work as well, <laughs> but also it just doesn't have that definition. But you could always do it light to begin with and then go back over and do the down strokes later, but then you see it's a little bit hard because it can overlap too much, so you need to create more space. So with this, a little more definition there. Um, so that's that part, and then I wanted to do a different color for, uh, so it says be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. Okay, so I have be a, and then, oh, I don't know if this is okay. Oopsie. Okay, so then be a pineapple, I just wanted to test it before I used it. So going down, a little more pressure, round that out a little bit. Coming up, a little bit lighter, okay. Going down, more pressure, some of these Pens are kind of old and not working super great. <laughs> okay, cross, down, up again, down, up, down, up, down. There. Down there. Oh, got a little bit 
a while as you can see. I'm going slow to show you how I do it but normally you can do it faster with the more practice you get and um, it's also good to practice with it really big like this because there's um, just more space and <laughs> it's not so crammed together. It can be really tricky when you've got just little tiny letters and you're trying to do all this fancy ups and downs. It can get kind of crammed. styles so some styles you want the all of the downstrokes to be the same consistency the same thickness that's pretty typical right? that they would all be the same width and that's easy to do if you're using the same pen throughout um, but then some people like to have different thicknesses kind of mix it up a little bit just depend, depends what kind of style you're going for um, so that's the basics I can I'll do one more word and then I'll speed it up so you don't have to watch this whole thing on slow-mo but um, yeah, just notice up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. <coughs> And then the D's, there's a lot of different ways to do these letters, and that's why you can print out some practice sheets and figure out what letters you like, or what styles of letters you like the best, but this, that's how I do a D, like that. And then I do my S's like that, some people do them differently. Um, like that little, cross the T there. Okay, and then T. The other thing about calligraphy is that um, it's different from cursive in the sense that the letters uh, don't connect on the bottom. So for example, with cursive, it would be like, it's all connecting on the bottom, like upstrokes. This one is more straight across. So you know how the, you see this, how the A meets up there right in the middle, right in the middle of the letter there. The L like this goes up before it meets instead of meeting at the very bottom. That's the difference between cursive and modern calligraphy. Okay. okay. So you can kind of see the basics of how I do that. Um, of course I penciled it out beforehand and I used watercolor pencils um, underneath and that just helps to give me a guideline of where I'm going. Um, but sometimes it's kind of fun to just go for it and see what happens, figure out different spacings as you go, kind of give it, feel it out as you start writing. Um, but if you want to be really precise, yeah, writing it out in a pencil first is a really good guideline. Okay, so now I'll do this in hyperspeed so that you can just see the quick version and not have to watch it for another hour. <laughs> basics. Um, hopefully that is helpful. There's lots of good practice sheets like I said online. The best thing to do is just to practice, um, to figure out your own style. Everyone's is a little bit different. It doesn't help to copy someone else. I would definitely recommend uh, figuring out what your own 
favorite shapes and styles are. This is just one example of how I've developed my style over the years. Um, but thankfully, all you need is a pen, and really, if you wanted, like I said, you could do this with any kind of pen. You don't even need a specific calligraphy pen if you wanted to. Just write it out like normal, fill in the downstrokes. That might be a good practice as well um, to figure out where those downstrokes are. Maybe you don't think about it when you're writing um, where those are, but thinking about, okay, down, down, right? Practicing where to put the pressure on. That can be a hard part with starting out. Um, so that's a good thing to practice. But yeah, it's taken me a little bit to learn this, but I believe that you guys can do it. And I hope that this video is helpful. If so, please like, comment, and subscribe. And check out my other watercolor videos. You can combine little pineapple with the lettering. And I'd love to see what you're making. So whatever you create from this tutorial, please post it on Instagram and tag me at Ashley Chase Creates. Have a great day, guys. Bye.